month, we've been highlighting black history across the coast, and the final stop of our tour takes us to Gulfport. An arts and culture celebration kicking off tomorrow, and there will be many signature pieces you'll want to visit. Stephanie Poole joins us now in the studio with more. Tonight we hear from a longtime resident and her love of recreating historic pieces of art, detailed patchwork, design and significance of the Underground Railroad Code quilt helped thousands gain access to freedom. Designs communicating the path to hope. If you look closely at this quilt, you'll notice these vibrant and detailed colors hold a deeper meaning. The history tells about the symbolism of the struggle and various means by which those who were seeking freedom looked for signs for direction. And that particular piece represents that. You may know Lois Hawthorne as a retired educator, but she now adds one more title to her many hats. Her hands crafted the historic Underground Railroad Coats Quilt. During the three years of needle, thread, and plenty of research, she learned the meaning slaves followed for a promised new beginning. It allowed me to reflect. When I was in high school, we were taught Negro history by uh, using a book by Carter G. Woodson. I felt a sense of fulfillment. The Underground Railroad quilt is embedded with 12 codes, pictures, and shapes so an enslaved person would be aware of the area and where to head next. Here are a few. Monkey wrench. Slaves needed to gather tools on their journey to freedom. Crossroads, directions to the main crossroad of Cleveland, Ohio, and North Star. Slaves were to follow the North Star to Canada and to freedom. And this isn't the only piece to Hawthorne's resume. She made this pillow and custom quilt in memory of her childhood. The name of this quilt is Mama and Me. That name came from the fact that all of this fabric came from clothing that my mother and I wore. Fabrics date back to when she was just seven years old. Hawthorne's creation will be featured in the Gulfport Art Center during the Black History Month celebration of art and culture. This is a, a way by which folk can know what we do. We sew, we shape clay, we do many things. There will be a, a broad variety of things that demonstrate the creative talents of our people. The exhibition will feature the work of African American quilters, needle crafters, painters, and authors. Doors open at the Gulfport Art Center beginning Friday at 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. And the display will open 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Monday.